Hey, Mr. Kaczynski here, working through IXL's 8th grade math, section P, Transformations and Congruence. Dealing with rotations today and graphing an image, I think it's probably best if we concentrate on the rules for rotations around the origin. If you write these down, it might help you, as not might, it'll definitely help you as you work through um, today's IXL skill. So a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation around the origin, or also known as a, that's the same as a 270 degree clockwise rotation. That would be that a point in the form x, y becomes negative y, x. So your new x value is the opposite of your old y value, and your new y value is your old x value. We'll do that a couple times. What about a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation, which is the same as a 180 degree clockwise rotation, halfway around a circle, basically? That would be where xy becomes negative xy. So your new x value is the opposite of your old x value, and your new y value is the opposite of your old y value. And lastly, a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. It's the same as a 90 degree clockwise rotation. That's where xy becomes y negative x. So in other words, your new x value is your old y value, and your new y value is the opposite of your old x value. All right, so let's start with these. Uh, we're going to graph 8, 1 after a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Okay, well, what's our rule? So a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation is where x, y becomes um, negative y, x. So if I have the point 8, 1, that's where j is now, then j prime would be at the opposite of y. y is 1, so the opposite of that would be negative 1. And then my x value, which was 8. So I'm going to plot the point negative 1, 8. Negative 1, 8 would be this point right here. That would be J prime. If you connect these points to the origin, so if we go original image, I'm sorry, to the origin, and then origin to our new image, notice that we get that 90 degree angle. So it work, it's working. All right, let's do a 180 degree um, rotation counterclockwise. So what's the rule here? Doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise with 180 degrees. The, the rule is that xy becomes negative x, negative y. So just take the opposite of your x value and your y value. So t is at 10, 8. We're going to take the opposite of x, that's negative 10, and oops, and the opposite of y, which is negative 8. So negative 10, negative 8 would be down here. This would be t prime right here. And again, let's uh, connect points. So let's go original point to the origin, and then we'll go from the origin to the new image. Notice that's a 180 degree angle, a straight line. And our last rule is a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. Alright, so what is that rule? It's that xy becomes y negative x. Alright, so our point here is negative 6, 5, that's a. So for our new x value, it's going to be our old y value, which is 5. And our new y value is going to be the opposite of our x value. So the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So 5, 6. 5, 6 would be right here. That would be a prime. If we connect these points with a straight line from original image to origin to new image, this is a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation right here. We go around the origin. 360 minus this 90 would be 270. 
All right, so now we're gonna look at things a little backwards. We're gonna do some extra points as well. So we're doing a rotation of 270 degrees clockwise. That's like 90 degrees counterclockwise, same thing. So what's our 90 degree counterclockwise rule? That would be um, <clears throat> negative y x. All right, so let's do these points here. We're not given the points, but we can figure them out. So we'll start with r. Um, r is at negative eight zero. S is at negative three zero. T is at negative three positive five. And U is at negative eight positive five. So let's apply this rule to all these points. Opposite of Y, in fact, let's just do each y, each x value first. We take the opposite of y. The opposite of 0 is 0. Um, the opposite of 0 is 0. The opposite of 5 is negative 5. And the opposite of 5 is negative 5. Then for our new y value, we just keep our x value. Negative 8. Negative 3. Negative 3. And negative 8. And then we'll plot those points. 0, negative 8. 0, negative 3. Negative 5, negative 3. And negative 5, negative 8. There we go. If we connect uh, corresponding vertices, we'll just do this one time, we won't do it on all of them here, but um, from r to the origin to new r, which is at zero negative eight, we get that. From s to the origin to new s, we get that. That's not showing us a lot. From t, well, let's use a different color. How about uh, purple? From t to the origin to new t, which is at negative five, negative three. See that 90 degree angle or 270 degree counterclockwise angle? And from u to the origin to u prime, 90 degree angles. So red, 90, purple, 90, orange, 90. All right, let's do a 180 degree clockwise, which is the same as 180 degree counterclockwise. So our rule is that x, y becomes negative x, negative y. All right, so E is at seven, negative eight. F is at seven, zero. And G is at five, negative seven. To find E prime, we just take the opposite of X and the opposite of Y, negative seven, positive eight. To find F prime, we take the opposite of X and the opposite of Y, negative seven, zero. And to find G prime, we do the opposite of X and the opposite of Y, negative five, positive seven. All right, we'll plot those points, negative seven, eight, And negative seven, zero. Negative five, positive seven. And let's connect those points with some straight lines, which you won't need to do on IXL, it'll do it for you, but. And there we go. That is the image after a 90 degree, excuse me, 180 degree rotation. Let's connect some corresponding points here. Let's go F to origin to F prime. Yep, 180 degree angle. Let's go G to origin to G prime. That's a 180 degree angle. 
and let's go e to origin to e prime. See that 180 degree angle, always a straight line. One more. All right, we're going to do a 90 degree uh, rotation here. Rotation of 90 degree clockwise. That's like 270 degrees counterclockwise. So what's our rule? If you go back to that first page I showed that hopefully you paused and wrote it down, it's that xy becomes y negative x. That's a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. So uh, d is at 6, 3. E is at 8, 3. F is at 8, 4. And G is at 6, 4. So our new points are going to be, uh, well, let's do our new Y, our new X value is going to be our old Y value. That's what the rule says. So 3, 3, 4, and 4. And our new y value is going to be the opposite of our old x value. So negative 6, negative 8, negative 8, and negative 6. Plot those points and we'll have our new image. 3, negative 6, 3, negative 8, 4, negative 8, and 4, negative 6. There we go. One more time, why not? Let's connect corresponding vertices to the origin. So D to the origin to the new D prime here, which is at three negative six. See that 90 degree angle there. And what about E? So we'll go E to the origin to three negative eight would be right there. That's a 90 degree angle. And what about F? F to the origin to F prime, which is at four negative eight right there. That's a 90 degree angle too. Same if we did G. So we'll always get these 90 degree angles. All right, so here's the rules. And that's for rotations graphing the image. Good luck.